Hi and welcome to Pebbles channel. So we are talking about the sense organs that is the eyes, nose, ears, tongue and skin and we are going to talk about the eyes. So we have two eyes that are present in the eye sockets of our skull and it is because of the eyes that we are able to see the world around us. They work like cameras and send moving pictures of to the brain. The brain in return tells us what we have seen. The eyes are covered with flap like eyelids. So if you look at the picture of the eye, you will see that the eyes are covered with flap like eyelids and the purpose of the eyelids is to protect the eyes from foreign matter such as dust, dirt and other debris as well as bright light that might damage the eyes. The eyelashes that are present on the eyelids and the eyebrows protect the eyes from dust. So the eyelids and the eyelashes that are present on the eyelids and the eyebrows protect the eyes from dust. We can see an object when light bounces off the object and enters the eye through a clear transparent area that is called the cornea. So we have the picture of the eye with its parts. So we have the retina, the optic nerve, the cornea, the iris, the pupil and the lens. So we see that the eyes are protected by the eyelids and the eyelashes and the eyebrows. So this is the description of the eye. So we see that behind the cornea is the iris and the iris is a flat colored ring shaped membrane with an adjustable circular opening that is the pupil in the center and the pupil looks like a black spot is actually an opening in the iris that lets light into the eye. The muscles in the iris make the pupil bigger or smaller to let in light depending on the brightness outside. When it is dark outside, the pupil becomes bigger to let in more light. And when there is bright sunlight, the pupils become smaller to let in less light. Behind the pupil is a clear lens. The lens focuses the picture on the retina and there are tiny nerves that are present on the retina. So if you have a look at the picture you will find tiny nerves that are present on the retina. Next we are going to see how we are going to protect or take care of our eyes because without sight life becomes impossible. So we need the eyes because it tells us about the world around us.